Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing some catch up and I decided I'm going to do some live reaction to WWE NXT on October 15th which is recently. Um, you know, just to try and get up to date with uh, what's been going on with NXT UK as I've been working. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. So, let's just get back all that intro. Alongside the number okay. one contender, so let's see United what we're gonna States have next. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Dave Mustafa going against. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I need to not like the Undertaker's really long. Tournament. The biggest competitor in the tournament with an aggressive chomping style. Put, um, to hit, to hit back him in the, without being like a wild card, it would have been more sense. And it's starting off with the Heritage Cup tournament, Joe Hikana versus Davis. So and his opponent, it could be interesting, you know, might be a bit of a slow pace for the beginning. Um, I normally put something like this in the middle of the end just to break up the show, so this is quite good to see. It will be interesting how they work it out, how they perform it. it could be, I don't think it will be a squash. So it will be interesting in the reaction. Joseph Connors clearly focused on this opportunity here tonight. A manic, bitter, and some, dare I say, might say insecure Nottingham native. Always wants to prove himself worthy. And that lends it to a very aggressive mm. style in the match. Opening round match. Yes, I can read. Okay, so... I'm trying to be respectful, but why? He's a heel, he's you saw a face. there Dave Massett offered the handshake when they made the drawing for this. Okay. Connors refused the handshake. He doesn't want to be friends with his opponent. He wants to move forward and advance. Normal, normal tie-up. I'm trying to bring like Matt Russell in. It's really weird. Well, yeah. competed in weight categories. He's certainly a, a catch weight Especially for Dave, he's more of a monster, so I would have thought he would have tried to do more squash right, style. But seven weight classes in the mm. Lord Mount Evans rules. They weren't catch mate contests, mm -hmm. as you said. Think about Fit Finley versus Danny B. Collins would be a catch weight contest to pick up the difference. And generally speaking, as is the case here, you would have to say the larger man. The more powerful man, the mm. favourite. And again, both these competitors coming off long layoffs. If you're going to come right now, how do you approach John, something Josie like that? Well, keep away from the man. You don't want to let her have a hold on you, and you yeah. certainly don't want him to fall on top of you. Let's it's slow pace for an opening man so far. Mm. You want to be pumping, you want people to get excited for it. And I know there's this Matt Wrestling based style, but still you want something there to elevate it. And so far, it's making me sleepy. Oh, nice change into the yeah. arm bar. You saw the way Connor made sure that he had hold of his opponent the whole time. He didn't release a hold to get another one. Mm -hmm. He made sure all the time he wasn't letting go of Massive. Massive something. Give me something threw Connor away quite literally. Well. Massive, a former county level gymnast turned powerlifter turned school teacher, a heady mix of intelligence, agility, and speed. Back to the technical wrestling from Connors. Not a bad approach. The bigger, more powerful man. The, the, the set of rules here, the, the round system, very different to what these competitors would normally compete in. Does that favour either one of these two? Is, oh, oh of course he would have that. A huge sit down. Oh, Mastin with the shoulders down, roll through. Well, a rounds match forces a competitor to focus more precisely on their style and strategy because you have to create opportunities. It's making me just feel sleepy. This match is slow, paced. I'm not really a big fan of NXT UK, so this is a bit disappointing for me too. You will look to finish strong here in the opening of this first round matchup of the Heritage Cup. <laughs> Performance by the bomber as he bulldozes his way through. Clear evidence of 
the importance of the rules there. Okay, so I overskipped it and I missed it for ending. How did that happen? Okay, so. And if I look tired because I did a night shift last night with the hour change, okay, so therefore I don't like another hour, so that's why I'm tired. Connors there tried to bring up the aggression. Palm strike to the face of Massive. He got one back and then some. And the round, so he ended the round, yeah. saved Connors. Right, you want the next round now? Connors comes out hard in this third round. Wow. <laughs> Massive just rocks Connors. Connors goes down. Connors is in trouble. I'm not sure if that was the right tactic for Joseph Connors. Should have landed at the end of the last round. Connors is trying to pull out all the stops. He knows what an opportunity this is. This could be a knockout and that could be the end of the match. That is. Wow. Oh my word. And Dave Mastiff wins by knockout! By knockout? Good lord! Okay, and so you showcase that he's strong. And advancing to the semi-finals of the NXT UK Heritage Cup mm. Tournament. Bomber! Well, Dave Mastiff! Uh, it's still a very slow paced map for an opening show. Opening of the show, I mean. Rules there. As we take a look back now at how this came down. It was towards the end of the second round. Connors came out with a strike. But Mastiff back. Here You're we are the beginning of the third. Connors comes out again. He hasn't took learned his lesson. Come Dave on. Mastiff tours That's it to him. Knocks him down. Chuck. And Doesn't out. Doesn't knock people out yet. A punch does. Dominant. Come on. Performance by the bomber as he bombs his way through to the next round. Law Weapon. Dave Mastiff comes out Right, what's next? Come on, to get promo stuff. Don't want to know. Na -na. Na -na -na -na. Don't do network. Seems to be going slow today. Mm. Huh? Hey, play. Mm. Okay, so we're going to match up. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Glasgow, Scotland, Isla Dawn. So Isla Dawn. So Isla Dawn. Which is the UK's looking to be found here tonight after not getting... Yes, I am fair forward to some of this. Otherwise, this video will be like an hour. So I'm trying to get some of the snippets out of the way. Alright. Come on, fair forward. Do 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 do. Yeah, I'm holding it like when you come to fair forward, it passes it back. It doesn't really work for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so let's try again, shall we? NXT UK Women's Championship. Right, Piper never. Yeah. I'm surprised she didn't win the title. I thought she should have deserved it a bit. Um, you know, considering. You know what she's done from the beginning and how slow pacing and work back but for the WWE in the UK. So Piper never should have won that championship match the other week. And you know, with Kaylee Ray. And given new reign for a little while because it's getting a bit boring with her woman champion. Again, it's like, it feels like the same match I'm watching from the beginning. Larger opponents. Oh my god, it trains to me for momentum. I'm actually doing every 10 seconds and I'm just seeing like the same moves over and over. Takes down, fights though, goes Nivens. Oh, you give me something a little bit more. Wow, Boulder of momentum. Take down is hurt, Tiora. It's good to see the tap. It's trying to fight for it. Mm. Piper Niven looking for it. Can she connect? Piper Driver, center of the ring. Hooks mm. the leg. Can she get the victory? Piper Niven takes that. So, Dave Missifer and Piper Niven have been the first two matches faking his squad. Yet they have made it match back to the base, which is just so really weird. Mm. I'm training as hard as I possibly can. My good friend, I'm your daughter. The following is a tag team contest scheduled. 
Okay. So this is gonna be Alexander Wolf in Water from Imperium going against Pete Dunn and Elijah Dragunov. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully a bit more entertainment in this match. So far the first the two matches have been really bland. No, not terrible wrestling, but it's just when you have one match and the other just the same style, it does to get repetitive a little bit, foe. and then you're kind of like, mm, want to turn it off a bit. Mm. Was synonymous with the title for a long time, and this man on the right of your screen knocked him, Matt Perch. Since Walt had arrived but I think, you know, I think no they need a manager to help them talk with him more. Uh, I think that would shoot them a lot better. Somebody UK like Kim Cornette or, or NXT um, for that matter. Oh, Father James Mitchell, somebody like that, that could really be sinister about it. Um, I think that would help flare them up a bit more. from you know Moscow Russia it wouldn't make a lot of sense so to be a face going against them is a bit of a strange dynamic but it does help build a roster a little bit more otherwise you're going to have like five heels against like two baby faces so I think they're going to introduce him a little bit better into the NXT universe by you know having him part of Imperium and him turning on Imperium you know yeah it's a typical old fashioned storyline but you would have elevated him a little bit more as a single guy by saying he's now a baby face he's now going to be watching it and not just coming in as a good wrestler but really showcasing what he can do with the ring and seeing Pete Dunback did as well Weird because he was teaming up with Matt Riddle and then it never really explained why he kind of I know because of lockdown COVID-19 um, it all had to stop but they could have done something a little bit just to help explain it more and did some more vignettes back to promos and they kind of did it and just dropped the ball with it so a bit disappointing to be honest with that really the over a year so, Come on, please let it be a good time for for change. This one was decent on this show. UK please. On the map. Specifically the NXT UK title. Taking it to America. Showing the world exactly what British wrestling was all about. And look at the shape that Pete Dunn is in. Alexander Wolf will start things off against the Bruiserweight. Williams hats it, man. That's the he is looking in for his exit from the Heritage Cup in the first round. To come across the top with a no round. Big Don has to Check complexion. Straight away, Fulter pushes the smaller man to the corner for the more aggressive. The of showdown. Lars Winkler's question in the answer. Just manhandles done. He's going to have to think twice about locking up with Walter. Walter just takes Dunn down and now it's him. The next man. Advantage here. The streak here. On this round. Walter blocking it well. Short arm scissors to Pete Dunn. Keeping momentum. And Dunn just tries to crank on Walter. Could make Walter tap. It would mean. Oh, here we come. Oh, there's the power. Through the power. And a little bit more fast paced pressure style, so it feels a bit more intense. So this feels a bit better this match compared to the other two matches on the show. Oh, and he misses the step up. And Pete Dunn oh, really word. doing like cruiserweight style stuff for Walter for right now. Keep flips. This is a different bruise weight to the one we've ever seen. Looks like he's trying to do different down now, he's back. Down goes Dragonov. Walter looks to follow up, but he takes Dragonov down to the mat. A great tactic here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Ilya Dragunov this first step. Dragunov with the tag, but here comes Porter. Here comes the Bruiserweight. Once again they collide. Pete Dunne would love to stamp his authority, but I want to know. With him shouting as well, that will give him some leverage. Oh my not word! Pretty brutal affair. But Dunne, and Dunne lands on his feet, but Walter leaves his feet and down. Tag, Wolf's the legal man. In comes Dragunov. Now Dragunov, oh, takes down. Gotch lift suplex, but instead, oh, beautiful. Matrix moves to get out. Wow. Ilya Dragunov. Oh, kick. And Dragunov to the skies. Feet. What's he got left? Get that hatchet man. No. Kick and into Dragunov. Oh, and Dunn clutches onto the rock. Title, but not this time. Dunn latches on. Dunn latches on. Dunn has the triangle. Doesn't have it fully extended though. Hold on. And Dragunov trying to take care of Wolf. Look at the downward strikes from Dunn. Elbow strikes to the champion. This could be it. And Walter trying to power through. What's he got left? Absolutely brilliant from the general. He fell into a fucking Walter! Ten! Dragon of the legal man! Dunn takes out Wolf! Once again, Dragon of to the top! Oh my word! Oh. Intercepted by the champion! Walter looks to follow up! Coming to the aid of Ilya Dragunov at the last split second. This has actually been an okay tag team match. Compared to the other team match, he's definitely Dragunov not better. Ilya Dragunov is in trouble. Walter, with the follow-up. Release German suplex. Fuck off, Dragunov. Cover. Kick out. Ilya Dragunov is not human. The grit and determination of a young immigrant who moved to Germany at five years old, who was told from day one he would never succeed. He refuses to quit. But how much does he have left? Dragunov may well be invincible. Oh, wow. Did you ever see an Oki? For Pete Dunn as well. Wait, Dragunov, it's Walter, the legal men. Surely not, no way. No way, not this, not now. No. No, Walter. Oh, oh my. yes. Look at the chest of He's Dragunov. Really good. Feet He's red. Really well and the sleeper. Walter's going for the sleeper. Dragunov trying to find a way out. If Walter gets this on, this could be the end of Dragunov. Oh, excellent. Holding that. Knife edge chop to the neck. The champion is staggered. Stiff knees. Dragunov continues to come forward. Continues to look to beat down the ring general. Here it comes. Got left suplex. Oh, my. He has to down the wall. Not Oh, 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 oh,
So, Lady Dragunov just pinned the NXT UK champion Water in a tag team match. Okay, to build up his momentum towards the single match, yes. Perhaps a little bit, maybe taking a bit finish to make that work a bit better because it was just a little pin up a cut that took him down. Yeah, they broke him down, you know, it was a good tag team based match. But that finish is a little bit on the weaker side. Um, so a bit of a shame it wasn't a little bit more like a top box style stuff where you know the big guy top box and gets knocked off and then suddenly he gets pinned like that make it a bit more elaborate I thought it would have been a little bit more of a boot to it um, but it's still a surprising finish to the match so again thumbs up for the finish the show three stars um, just felt very slow paced it just felt like it dragged a little bit in places but again, good to see Pete Dunne in action, and hopefully we see more of him as well. So again, subscribe, like, share if you want more reaction videos. I'm sorry if I look tired, because I've done the 11 hour night shift, so therefore I'm still having to sleep. But again, hope you all have a great weekend, and God bless you all. We're signing out here, and goodbye.